I'm gonna go over some of the wiring in the dash here. So the previous owner installed a, uh, it's like a little junction box, just a bunch of little studs that are power tapped onto and some grounds. And so coming out of there, it runs into a fuse block here in the glove box. There's three fuses and then there were four switches on the dash. Um, three of them were populated, one was blank. So there's one fuse per switch. That comes out, goes up, and goes around to here. And then that connects to the back of the dash. I'll show that in a minute. But basically, from there, um, there's a bunch of trailer connectors that go to um, gauges, MSD, and the starter solenoid. And then there's one random wire over here that's the lights for the gauges. So that's tapped into the light switch down there. So I'm gonna rewire it. It, it was done kind of like a race deal where you could just jump in the car, flip the switches and go, no key needed. Um, I'm gonna rewire the ignition switch. So got under here and found um, some wires in the harness weren't populated on the ignition switch. And I found two that I'll use. One was red with a green tracer. So that's hot uh, ignition and start. So that's hot all the time. It'll be good for gauges and ignition. And then the red with blue is start only. So I'm gonna run that to the starter solenoid instead of the push button switch on the dash. So let's go look at that dash I pulled off. So this is just the dash pad, um, back side of it here. So there's two gauges wired in and then there's these trailer connectors again that connect to the ones in the dash and these connect to the fuse blocks. So all four of these can have power but that fuse is missing and then this fourth switch here just has a pigtail. And then let's see if I can get underneath that. Uh, easy to flip it around maybe. So you can see the gauges and then they had a couple switches here. So the switches, it was just these three, they would turn on, turn your gauges and ignition on, and then push button start. So like I said, you didn't need a key. So I'm gonna do away with this panel. Um, for now, I'm gonna leave the switches but I'm not gonna use the switches for anything now and leave the gauges for now. Eventually I'm gonna put AC in the car and I will replace this dash pad with one with a vent so that all that will just go away and I'll relocate the gauges somewhere unless they fit, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so on the switches here, um, basically on this first wire, this first switch, this wire goes around and gives you power to the push button start uh, the second one here runs to an ignition, the MSD ignition box, and then the third one goes to these two gauges, and then it runs out through this wire to a connector for the gauges in the dash. So I'm going to rewire all of that, and I'll show you how in a second. The wires in this junction box that I mentioned earlier, they're always hot, so that there's one big wire here that comes out and feeds this fuse box that's in the dash, in the glove box. So I'm going to interrupt this wire and put a relay in it. So from the junkyard, I just went and ripped some uh, relays out of a car that has some really big power leads. So these should be good for, I guess, 30 amps. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty good gauge wire. So I'm going to wire this in series with the fuse block here. So when I turn the ignition switch on, it'll activate coil 85 and 86 that's the coil that pulls it in so I'm gonna hook those in line with the ignition switch uh, red and green wire I found that'll activate this relay and then it'll power up everything on this fuse box only when the key is turned on and in the start position and that will wrap everything up really I also wired in a uh, wideband air fuel gauge so that's kind of what started this whole mini wiring project is I needed a, a way to wire this in I figured it was a good time to pull the dash apart and see how the wiring was done and make it use the key since I'm going to park this at work and stuff like that. So I don't want someone jumping in the car and just taking off with it without the key. Alright, so just finished wiring this up. Um, there's a relay up there on the top left there that I just threw in. Uh, there's an inline fuse for the ignition switch. It's always good to have a fuse when you run a new power wire. Um, hooked everything up. 
do a quick ignition test. See the gauges come on. Let's see if the lights are wired up right. Yep, all the gauge lights are on. Cool. So I'll button everything up. Um, this is kind of temporary. I'll run it for a year or two until I take apart the dash and do the AC, and I'll redo all the wiring and probably move these gauges and get rid of the switch panel permanently and all that good stuff. So more to come.